fire in the hole. Yo guys, what's up? And today, I will be telling you guys all about my Nerf guns. My Nerf guns, I got them for fun. And I forgot to unbox them because these were like about a long time ago. So they were at least like half a year before. So I got these guns half a year ago and I want to explain to you guys what I like about these guns, especially this one. So this was my first gun. And these here were the rest of my guns, except for some. They were, some of these are my brothers. So. I love this gun. This was my first gun. From the look of it, I thought it was like that. Nothing, no crossbow. So I didn't think it had that from the box. So I thought it would be cool. I thought it was like automatic. So I wanted to get it. So I got it for a present. My mom got it for me as a present. It turned out to be really good. So, but the problem with this is the handles right here. So when I go like this, my hands, my my ACLs right here are hitting this spot, which makes it hurt. So, but it is, for the rest, it's comfortable. The grip is very comfortable. So for my pockets right here, they have these parts. And for my index, for my middle finger, it's right here. The rest, they just stand like this. Very good. Now, to the firing. What I love about this gun is it has all these pockets. So if you get second, here. So if a bullet gets a jam, stick your finger in, you got her out. Well it's not always that easy. So yeah. What I hate about this gun is that it also doesn't have like um stuff that you could like put attach attachments on. Like this gun, this short of furry gun. You see, it has an, it has a tactical rail right here at the top, so you could like add a scope. You could add a scope, but not at the bottom because it's like it's like a pull. So, but for this one, it's at the bottom right here. So. I think it's more comfortable without like a without like a handle. It's more it looks cooler too. What I love about this gun also is the way that you trigger it. Like this. It looks so cool, I'm not gonna it looks like it's, like, it's very good. So and it has a 12 bullet magazine, which is pretty good, but the thing is about these are the good things are that they're clear on this side but some other guns like this banana like this banana it's like this banana it has no clear side so you can't count how many bullet has in it but this it does so you can count one two three and so on till 12 but on this you can't so that's what i like about this gun this is my favorite gun but the problem is that it's for kids it's safety so if this is open it won't shoot it won't shoot unless it's closed it will shoot boom go boom, boom that's it so that was my first gun now this one this gun so this wasn't part of it but whatever you guys like this right the roto furry it's a mega roto for it. I think it's pretty good looking. It's pretty good looking. I'm more of a righty, so this is more comfortable. It has one of these. Like a scope. It's scoped. Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. And about this gun, right here, it has a better scoper. Look at that. Right? You can aim through there and right there. You see that guys right here right here and through right there so this one has a good aim you don't need no scope it's better than a scope but this i think we really need a scope so by the way this what i hear about this gun it can, can't attach like 
We can't attach something like this. I have this for my modulus right here. You can't attach anything because I can't go like this, can I? That's why I go like this. So that's why I added this smaller scope. This was supposed to come with the modulus. It was the actual box that it came in. I, I got another pair of extra attachments. So that's why. This is extra. So me and my brother usually use it on here. These stuff are really good. So the other thing is that my brother gets, is scared of getting shot by this. And some other guns. All the Megas, I'm afraid of getting shot too. Because they hurt like hell. Like, they hurt. They're not... Okay, they're... After a while, you get used to them, but not yet. Actually, my brother got used to them. Because... Um, actually, I got used to them. He is... Eh, he's okay with them. And now... You guys thought I was pulling out a big gun, huh? The small gun. It's very small. I had to cut off some some the edge of a bullet of uh, an extra bullet to make it look good, or else, or else it'll be sticking out. If I put it in like this, a normal bullet, nothing. It looks wrong, bro. That's why I cut it out and shortened it. So a few things about this gun. So the problem is it's not silent. Moving, this thing flops around like it just keeps on flopping. But the good thing about this is it's actually supposed to be like this in the aimer, like that. But you could also add another bullet through there, and it's an extra bullet for you. It's the handles are okay. It's not my size though. It's very small for my hands, only three of my fingers fit, but not the rest, so. I also like the pulling. It's not hard, it's not heavy, it's light, and it's fast. It's fast, pretty fast for, it's, usually if you're sniping, you have to have one of these. By your side, can't go all the way with the sniper, ugh. Pull it, poof, that's it. So these guns are good. This was a fire strike. I spray painted it and now it looks silver. If I painted it black, it would look like a real gun crap. It used to have laser right there, but I spray painted it to make it look better. So it's like, this one has a really hard shot. Cause this, it's really strong. Even with spray painting and everything, and the spray painting made it even stronger. So, there's the, the really good thing about this, it has the tactical rail right here. So, the scope I put on here, take it off, add on to here, but it's just big, it doesn't match it. But you could still use it, it's still usable, so you can use it. Nothing bad. Still usable, but I like it better like this. Crap. The thing is that it keeps on shooting out this bullet. Oh, holy. So, now let's get to the end. The Mega Magnus. It's a good gun. Very strong. Uh, it's normal weight. It's not too heavy. It's not too light either. It has a very, very good handle. You see that? It's very good. It's very comfortable. But it has no tactical rails except on the bottom right here. On the bottom. That's all it has. The trigger. The trigger. It's like this. So like that that's it and then you just add the bullets squeeze it in there two three this only holds three bullets it's not that big of a gun it doesn't hold a lot of ammo 
But it's still usable. It's not that bad. Now for the banana gun. The banana gun, it has white bullets. It came with a pack. It's really good. The white bullets are new, so they're smooth. Very smooth. And this is the gun for it. It's huge, right? I'm just gonna get the whole camera. There we go. There we go. It's automatic. So this wasn't supposed to come with the with the um it was only supposed to be like this with this you see this it's supposed to be like that the box it came like that so ugly it's ugly like crap so ugly right so i made it i got this this which is a barrel i guess or a pod this and another scope to make it look better so actually i add these on for sniping people that because i snap people so awesomely it's confusing to put them on but it has a good grip the grip is okay but i take this off and add it to the roto fur I put this on, and you know, I like it better like this, so, like that, and I add the pod onto the first barrel, right here, onto this barrel, so it's right here, and I add the scope on the top, and this gun is very good, you see, I can hold it on by right here, very suitable its grip is okay it's actually smooth so it's not and it has a stock i hate the stock you know why you see that small thing bendable very bendable so if i push it too hard it'll snap so like this i like it like this jk i hate it like that so, this is the lightest mode. Two of these. Look at that. We'll be rocking this. Get a better barrel. Guys, for the thing, if you get a module like this, don't get it, but also get extra attachments. Very good attachments. You might want to get two of these. Shoot like that, okay? So. And by the way, here's my little brother. You want to say a shout out to anyone? My little brother, the Game Geek. No offense, little bro. What? Games! Mm. Holy moly. Stop, stop. That didn't hit me at all. Okay, that's it. See you guys. Peace out, guys.